In this video, we will demonstrate processing measurements made in S11 mode for RCS. As we recall, in S11 mode, a reference antenna is used for both the transmitted and reflected wave. S11 mode is particularly fast and easy to use and only requires a single antenna. We'll go ahead and invoke the antenna network simulator and we'll load the schematic file named RCS using gated time domain S11 measurement. And we see that that schematic file is different from the S21 mode schematic file. When we make a reflection based measurement and we gate out the unwanted reflections, each attenuation is seen by both the forward and reverse. The resulting attenuation is double that of the attenuation by itself. So for this reason, it is necessary to divide the dB value of each attenuation by 2. In the path, this is equivalent to simply using one path instead of forward and reverse path we have a single horn and a single path. In the processing of the actual data, it's necessary to take the square root of the linear data, which is the same as having the dB data. In this example, we're going to measure the RCS reflections from the dams FSM. A standard gain reference horn is used with the Anaritsu MS2038C vector network analyzer, handheld portable, and S11 mode is employed. At a distance of one meter, we're going to transmit in time domain frequencies from 700 megahertz to 18 gigahertz and we're going to gate out the FSM. The result of that measurement data can be found in your advanced data directory as dams FSM5 underscore RCS dot dat. The data as measured, resides in register 1. To process that data, we're going to apply the time domain S11 schematic. The path of 1 meter is employed, and the standard reference horn that can be found in your dam's directory is employed. We're going to invoke the monitoring plots and note that we're de-embedding the reference horn, the path. The data is register resident in register 1. And we're going to go ahead and process this data. as RCS. Recall that RCS is dBSM, that's dB relative to the ideal sphere. This measurement was made over an azimuth scan of 0 to 360 degrees. Here we see the maximum R RCS of about minus 60 
when when the azimuth is looking at 360 degrees straight on to the FSM. As we vary the azimuth angle, we can see that the FSM reflections are very small. And if a reflection of minus 60 dB relative to 0 dB for the 1 meter sphere is about the size of a BB. I hope this helps in utilizing the dams for processing RCS measurements.